Hi, my name is Jennifer Robbins and I'm excited to tell you about the HTML4 and 5 reference app uh, that I've been working on. And um, first I'm going to give you a little bit of background information. Um, I've been writing books about web design for O'Reilly since 1994, including Web Design in a Nutshell and Learning Web Design and this little book, which is the HTML Pocket Reference. Now recently when I was working on the fourth edition of the Pocket Reference, I was thinking, well, the book is handy, but having it all in my iPhone would be a lot handier. And fortunately, the folks at O'Reilly agreed, and my editor, Simon St. Laurent, and I started working on um, taking all of the information in this book and appifying it. So that means it's not a PDF and it's not an ebook. It's a design from scratch reference tool that gets you to the elements and attributes and information you're looking for very quickly, very efficiently, and in a way that's designed for the small screen. So I'd love to take you on a little tour. Uh, what we have when you start up, up the app is an um, option to search or browse. Choosing Browse takes you to an alphabetical list of all of the elements in HTML4 and 5. But say you only want to work with HTML5 from now on because, you know, you're a future-facing web designer. And um, you can go easily into the filter and choose HTML5 only. Or if you aren't ready for HTML5 um, because of support or whatever your reasons, you can choose to see only HTML4. So I'm going to choose HTML5 only. When I go back, you can see where um, you can see that the acronym element that had been there in the previous view is now gone because it was dropped um, from it's not included in HTML5. So let's take a look at an individual element. For every element, there's a full description, a list of all of the available attributes, and when you click, you can see that you get the available values and a description of every attribute. So I want to point out that this isn't a quick ref. I mean, this is really a very deep and thorough uh, summation of all of the specs. There's also examples of every element with a rendered example where applicable. I also want to show you that when you are in the attributes, you can see we have the HTML5 global attributes. You can also set the filter and it applies in individual um, elements as well. So there now we see, have HTML4 um, attributes back in there. One thing that's not in the book but is in the app is a reverse lookup table from attributes back to their respective uh, back to their respective elements. There are also all of the character references and entities that would you would use in adding special characters to your documents. I put all of the frequently used ones right up top. So copyright, uh, registered, and so on. But probably what will get the most use is the search tool. Um, we build in a robust search engine so you can get to things very quickly. Um, in, additional, in addition to that, we have um, all of the elements grouped by common tasks. And for HTML4, HTML5, and H XHTML, um, there's an overview of the spec. Uh, sum, a summary of the minimal document structure and also the doc type declarations. Well, that's a tour of the app. Um, I wanted to mention how we produced it. It's produced entirely in HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. And it was we used JQ Touch for the behaviors, and it was packaged up with PhoneGap for delivery in the App Store. Right now, it works on iPhone and iPad, um, but we're also working on an Android version, which should be coming soon. So I know that once we built this app, I am now using it all the time. And I think that you'll uh, find it useful as well. And I hope that you do. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.